it doesn't take much to say something negative about somebody. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't take that much to be negative. And of course, a wicked, sinful world that's influencing people to do bad things, it doesn't take that much to be negative. And sad in the world system we live in, people will uh, consider people that speak negative things to people as somebody that is saying something. You know what I'm saying? So a negative person that is, we see the ideal of negative, it means that you're subtracted. You know, you will say something less about a person, you know, but 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 you you can't say something better about a person, but you only can say something less about a person. And the thing is what Jesus taught me from out of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And if someone can say something less to a person, you know, that means there's something less inside their heart. Because like I said, from out of the heart, the mouth speaketh. If somebody can say something less to you, that means something less is inside their heart. And the thing is, we're not supposed to be allowing people that are born in sin, shaped with iniquity, you know what I'm saying, that's operating in darkness, in the ideal substance of something that does not have the ability to see. You know what I'm saying? Darkness is the ideal of nothing. If nothing is inside a person's heart, then nothing is going to come out of a person's heart. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad, you know, people will allow people that has, that unfortunately you didn't have a mother or father maybe to teach you what, how it's important to be a positive person or, a, you know, a good person, unfortunately, but the thing is, you are, but you had negative influence around you. So negativity is your language. Negativity is what you see. Negativity is what you do, unfortunately. But the topic of my message that is I'm very inspired to do that I was really planning on doing in spite of that situation going on in Starbucks is called the reality of no good things to say or do versus all goodness say to say or do. You know, it sound weird, doesn't it? Yeah, I know it do. But I'm going to show you what this is talking about. Of course, it's talking about really the flesh versus the spirit because the scripture says, I believe I just posted up uh, Romans 7, I think 18, that it talks about there's no good thing that dwelleth in the flesh. I repeat again, there's no good thing that dwelleth in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? And in Ephesians, it talks about that in the spirit, there's all goodness. There's all goodness in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And you know the sad part about this situation right here, about there's no good thing that dwelleth in the flesh um, the mass majority of people in this world live accordingly to the flesh. You know what I'm saying? The mass majority, because of the influence, negative influence uh, on your television, on your radio, on your uh, internet, because of this influence, people live according to the flesh. And what you're supposed to see that people that are, you know, or that has light or operate by the spirit is if someone negative, someone say something bad and something say something as what uh, Paul says, something, a no good thing that's supposed to let us know that they're operating in the flesh. Automatically, we're supposed to, when we hear no good, someone's automatically, we're supposed to think, if we are aware that they're operating in the flesh. And if you're operating in the flesh, you're operating in a substance, as you can see, according to the uh, graves, this flesh here, this flesh can, uh, when we die, this thing will rot. You know what I'm saying? This, 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 this flesh will rot when we die. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, and, and you know what the flesh is supposed to be used for? The purpose of the flesh is supposed to be used for? It's supposed to be used for when something 
comes on our body, something gets cold on us, it's supposed to tell us it's cold. And if something's supposed to get hot, it's supposed to tell us it's hot. If something are, uh, feels, uh, uh, any feeling that comes upon our body, our flesh is supposed to indicate how it feels. The flesh does not have a mind. The flesh doesn't have a sense of thinking. The flesh doesn't think. But yet people will respond to this flesh like this flesh can think. You know what I'm saying? That this flesh has figured out all whatever it feels. Like if I somebody make me mad, the flesh says, uh, get mad and hit them back. You know what I'm saying? When somebody says something negative to me, the flesh says, say something negative back. You know what I'm saying? And, and we respond to this thing that does not have a brain, the flesh does not have a brain, and we will respond to this, and we will do something negative with each other, and hurt each other, and harm each other, and something bad happens, and something is subtracted inside of us, a negative energy that can only bring more stress inside of us, make us feel more worse, bad inside of us, be and we fight each other, so someone get punched in the face, punched in the eye. Now their eye can only uh, look, uh, only can function less than it uh, probably can. It can't see that it normally can see. It's all about, it's all about being less. Or if I get punched in the eye and I can't see in that eye, that means this eye is no good to me. This eye is no good. I can't see in his eye. You know what I'm saying? If I'm getting busted in my nose, I can't hardly breathe in my nose. That means this nose becomes no good to me. It can't function the way it can function. This is what the flesh operating with their senses is all about. It's about subtracting from a person, taking away the sense ability from another person and making it not function for the purpose that it was created for. That it's no good. You know what I'm saying? It's no good to use. It's no good. And that's what, what Paul is saying. When we operate and respond to the flesh, we all about, since we feel like we're no good, we want others to feel like they're no good. Even though they're happy, even though they have the goodness of God inside them, they feel good. We want to say something negative, something bad to them to make them feel like they're no good. And the thing is, those that operate in the flesh is operating. It's truly, I did a message a long time. They're spiritually nobodies. In the spirit, you're nobody. Well, in the natural, you're nobody. Because if you got nothing nothing good to say about something that means nothing is not in, is nothing is in you you know what i'm saying spiritually if you have something the, the ideal of darkness is the ideal of nothing is nothing there you know what i'm saying if you got darkness in your heart and you got nothing good to say or nothing good to do to somebody you can't respond and try to help somebody that is hurting right now you can't respond to say an encouraging word to somebody that's going through bad situations bad circumstances in their life if you ain't got nothing to say to the person you're really spiritually nothing you know what i'm saying you you are not you are more likely hurting the hurting the existence of this world you know what I'm saying? You're you're not trying to help better the sequence of life that is going on in this world. And the thing is, it's sad that most people are spiritually nothing because they have nothing good to say to people or nothing good to do for people in this life. You know what I'm saying? And people should not value. People should not put a sense of value on those kind of people. You know what I'm saying? It's sad that people stir up and make these people think that there's something that you need to, you know, you need to argue at her. You need to punch her in the face. You need to do this. You need to do this bad thing to this person. You, people will stir up nothing inside of somebody to cause a person to do uh, nothing. I mean, make this person look like nothing so they can feel like there's something in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? And you is a bunch of nonsense. You know what I'm saying? You do not make sense of your life. You don't see what's right in your life. And the thing is, it's a sad case, a sad state of being that the majority of people in this world has this 
problem. You know what I'm saying? This is horrible that we have too many people that is good. It's no good thing that is inside of them. They're responding that no good thing is responding out of people and is not helping people. You know what I'm saying? This is horrible. That and not and, and oh, when something bad happened, not everybody's complaining about something bad happened. This person, somebody's going to the hospital. Something he broke his arm, he broke his leg, he broke his leg, he broke his head. Now, something now the body's not functioning properly, and, and now we're complaining. You know what I'm saying? This is horrible cycle that has been going on for a long time that people are not addressing or care to address. But they can complain about all the bad things are happening. This is a sad. This is very sad, he meant, people. And the thing is, is because you're operating in the flesh. It's because in the flesh is all about nonsense. Now, let me get to the all goodness part, please. All goodness. We need the spirit. We need the spirit of God. We need the spirit of God to develop us. That's why we need to hear the word of God. We need to uh, decrease John 330 G decrease so we can increase in the spirit of God because we want all goodness inside of us. We want we we want all goodness inside of us because we want good. We want to feel good inside. People wonder in their life, you know, why they feel bad inside. Why, you know, how, you know, negative people, they wonder why something, they feel bad inside. But yet, you know, they uh, they speak negative things and they do negative things and they wonder why they're feeling bad inside. And they wonder why it's just sitting there. It's because they don't have goodness inside them. You know, the goodness of God is what we're supposed to be seeking after through the spirit, you know what I'm saying? And it's part of the fruit of the spirit. You know, it's love, joy, peace, gentleness, long suffering, meekness, temperance, goodness, and faith. It's, it's part of the fruit of the spirit, goodness is. And that lets us know if you don't have goodness inside you, then you're going to do negative things inside you. If what you lack of is what you're going to do. And the problem is people need to start developing goodness inside of them if good things are going to happen in our life, you know, and this goes to the relationships. Oh, don't let me go to relationships. Oh my God, people, I want a good man. I want a good woman. I want a good man, but don't want to develop goodness inside of them, but they want somebody else to be good, but they're going to keep their negativity inside their heart and want a good man or a good woman to be around them. Come on, please mature up. You're not, you need to get this good. It's, it's, it's our responsibility. It's nobody's responsibility to make you good. The only person responsible if your goodness or negative things is inside you is you. You know what I'm saying? It's our responsibility to understand that we need to develop goodness inside our hearts if we want to have a good relationship with other people. With other people. I mean, you, you don't need a man or you don't need a woman. You need to learn how to be good to your family or good to your friends. You know what I'm saying? You need the goodness of God to just to be good, have goodness inside you. That's the really problem of the void that people have, you know, inside of them. That is really the problem of their life. They need the goodness of God concerning the spirit. Look, we're Genesis 1 26. We're made in the image and the likeness of God. And if God is not inside of us, we are no good. That's what I really want to end this on. If God is not inside of us, Genesis 1 26, according to the beginning of our creation, that God blew breath and made us a living soul. If the goodness of God, his spirit is not inside us, we are no good. That's how it boils down to concerning that we need the spirit of God inside of us and stop being no good to other people and no good to ourselves and start have, developing the goodness of God inside of us. So we can say good things, encourage people that are down. It's people that is feeling bad. We have something good to say to them. When someone is feeling down, we can lift, cheer them up. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to bring them down. We're going to cheer them up. You know what I'm saying? What goodness is all about doing. And I pray that this message can motivate you to seek after the goodness of God in your heart. That's the message. God be the glory. Hear him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.